how to create basic marble in a flinty photo. Something like that. First thing to do, create a layer. So layer and new layer. And then I'm going to use the filters menu and noise and purling noise. I'm going to do this a couple of times. So purling noise there. And then change the octaves. I want to keep it fairly low. Zoom, I'm going to create, create and put basically in the center. Persistence, I'm going to keep at approximately zero, right at the start. And it's going to go for the blend mode of difference. You can see different settings. Experiment. Just experiment, because obviously the document, you may have a different size document. I've got 3,000 by 2,200 is the size of the document. Click Apply. So you've got your design there. Run it again. Lots of filters always work best applied a couple of times. So Filters menu and Noise and Perlin Noise. Now at this point you can see there's nothing there because, of course, the difference... So change the zoom, maybe increase it just slightly. And you can also change persistence. And that adds some like little texture, little strands into the image. Also octaves, you can tweak those as well. Move that backwards and forwards. Maybe keep it about there. Click apply. You can run it again, of course. Filters and noise and purling noise. You can see you're creating some quite nice abstract elements there. And again, you can increase the octaves if you wish. You can tweak the zoom, move that back and forward. Maybe add it to that position and persistence, maybe subtly change. And you can see you're now creating quite a nice marble like texture using this. Again, it's difference there. Click apply. What you can then do, you can go to the Tone, Tone Mapping Persona, just over there in the top left. It takes a few seconds to start up, and it will just brighten it up straight away. And you can bring the Tone Map across, and you can just tweak the settings. What you want to achieve is approximately that sort of brightness. So, so you can see those strands going through the, the cracks in the marble. And you can tweak all these settings. Maybe change the exposure. Change the black point. Increase the brightness. And you can go with these settings or not. But what you want to achieve is sort of nice clear lines through that. Of course, saturation, etc. doesn't have any effect. So there's no colour. And you can change shadow. And you can boost up the highlights. Just push that up to fairly high. Because what you want is those, those lines, those strands that are running through that marble. And once you're happy with it, I mean, there's a lot of other settings. You can go through all the various settings. You can see there the highlights have increased. You can always go to the top, top left. And you can click Apply. And I'm just changing the local contrast and tone compression. So I've just boosted those up a bit. And that just increases that brightness, I think, there. Click Apply. Now you're back into normal editing mode. What you can then do, you can go to Layer Menu and Invert. Because now you've got the white, so you've got these black lines, and that's what you get normally in marble, black lines, not white lines. I suppose there may be different types of marble, but of course there are thousands of different types of marble. So this is one example approach. So filters. And go down to noise and again, 
Perlin noise. And you can see now you've got, it's really starting to look more like a marble design. Now you can change the octaves, maybe slightly increase that, change the zoom subtly, give it some sort of unusual contrast there. And persistence, you can tweak that up, push that up, click apply. Right, once you've done that, what you can then do, of course, you can always run it again. You can change zoom, octaves, push it up. And it's really what this thing is really just to show you to experiment. But these are the set, I mean, to, to actually say these are the settings to use, probably unlikely the best way of approaching this. But just to experiment, just run it a few times, just make certain you get these lovely strands. So again, layer menu and invert. Once you've done that, it's near enough looking like marble. What you can do is go to filters, colors, and auto levels. And again, you can see now the very dark lines. Looks, it's starting to look. Well, it's looking like something anyway. It's looking like marble to me, but obviously it's not everyone's marble. So again, filters, noise, and purling noise. Run it again. But I think at this point, that's reasonable. I think I've done enough applications of the purling noise. What you can do, you can also recolor it. Because obviously you, you might not want just basic white and black marble. So I'm just adding a quick rectangle. It's a rectangle shape. And of course what you can do, you can change the color of that shape. Of course, when you add it, it sort of makes the design just drift off the screen slightly. Don't want that, of course. So I use the hand tool to bring it back into the center. Select the rectangle tool again, and then go and change the color. So I'm going to go for a just a light blue. Just change the color, just make it fairly sky blue. But what you can then do, go to the layers panel. And then you can just change it. You can just run through, maybe go with screen, whatever, just see which one you like best, which gives the best look overlay. But you can try out all the others, just run through the blending modes, try them. So now you've got some blue marble. And what you can do, layer menu and merge visible. So they're all merged, those layers. And of course you can just delete them now if you wish. Well, I think the thing is now, you've got your marble. Marble's not, it's not gonna be perfect. There's obviously you want some modification to it. So where you've got some tools over there, you can just go and tweak it. So maybe go to the blur brush, just add some blur. Just blur it in certain places, obviously increase the size. Personally, I always find the blur brush to be very, very subtle in Infinity Photo. You can see some subtle blur in there. The word is subtle. You can also use, of course, go down the bottom one and smudge, which is more effective. Maybe increase the size of the brush. Obviously got a very small size brush there, so about 200, 300. And then you can just, just add subtle shifts. Don't have to do massive, like squat right across the whole thing, but just apply subtle movement to the thing. Just give some imperfection to it. You don't want perf total perfection. You want some slight subtle blur and slight shifting of the 
And of course, you could continue to do this. You could mess around with it for ages. Just, you know, but I'm going to do a few applications just to drag things and move things around. So it's not 100% a computer looking design. And of course, what you can also do, you can go and use the other tools, dodge tool, burn tool, burn brush. And you can apply that, obviously change the size again, maybe change the opacity. You can hardly see the uh, burn actually apply. So you can just go over it and you can just see, you can darken parts of the marble design. And again, make it slightly more organic. And you can go obviously go over that. And also, of course, you can add local brush strokes, maybe with different colours, if you want to add some subtle colour to it. So just maybe change the opacity of the brush to, say, like 10%. And just go over with subtle reds and greens and whatever, just to add some additional colour to it. Obviously, you don't want to destroy the structure. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always add new tutorials about Finity Photo, Photoshop, etc. Please add some comments. Always appreciated. A dislike or like. Thank you much.